Hello, friends, back again. Thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome to those who are new, and thank you so much for returning those who are returning. <laughs> all right, so today's video, we are going to be talking about all of the confirmed areas in Monster Hunter Rise, and we're also going to be speculating on what areas we could get still that we have yet to see. This has nothing to do with any leaks or data mines. This is all speculation of yours truly. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more Monster Hunter content on our build up to Monster Hunter Rise. So let's get right into it, shall we? Starting with a classic already for a starting area, the Shrine Ruins. I'm not gonna spend too much time on the Shrine Ruins because we already have seen the area significantly if you've played the demo. Although I will say, everything is looking spot on in the Shrine Ruins. I really like the minimalistic feel compared to Monster Hunter World, although there is still a lot going on in this map. When I say minimalistic, I just mean compared to things like the Ancient Forest. It's not as jumbled and not quite as much of a visual complexity or a visual mess. It is actually just a visual beauty, I would say. It has just enough going for it where you don't lose interest, but then it also doesn't have too much happening, so you get a sensory overload. There are also some hidden areas in the Shrine Ruins, which is really cool, so I'm expecting them to throw in a few more hidden areas in each of the maps, just to encourage a little bit of, you know, exploration on your downtime. The Shrine Ruins, a perfect starting area. Up next, we have the Flooded Forest. Now, if you played previous games like Monster Hunter Try, you'll know that we've actually been to the Flooded Forest before. So it's an absolute marvel that we are returning to a place that we are already familiar with. The most notable features about the Flooded Forest is obviously that there is water almost everywhere you go. Crazy. <laughs> because of the name, I know. Also, there is a massive pyramid. This pyramid is scalable, as you see hunters are actually on top of it. Don't jump off the pyramid with an egg. This map will feature monsters like Bishiten, Somnicanth, Royal Ludroth, Mizutsune, Great Ragi, and I'm sure a few others that we still have yet to see. One of my favorite features about the Flooded Forest is its diverse terrain. I really like that there are some areas where you're on land, some areas where you're on water, and then some areas when you're in an actual cave. I think that's a really great representation of how life can actually be. Not only do I think this environment looks beautiful, but I am so glad that they are giving us the ability to scale the pyramid or the ruins because I think that adds a much deeper level of immersion in the game. We saw some solid land fighting the Bishiten earlier. We see some submerged land while fighting the Mizutsune and here is fighting the Mizutsune in the cave. So I'm really excited to explore the flooded forest, see what new things it has to offer us, see what old things there are and what nostalgia that may bring up. And I'm just really excited to use the wire bug and travel across the entire land. Not like literally travel across the entire land in one go like some crazy people are doing with bombs, but I mean literally just kind of explore and see what it has to offer. And I really want to get to the top of that pyramid. 
There's got to be something there, right? Also, if you played Monster Hunter Try or another game that Flooded Forest was in, be sure to let me know what monster you want to see at the Flooded Forest and what monster you want to fight. Where are my Gobel fans out there, eh? Who wants to see some Return of the Gobel? Let's go! Not to mention, if we are getting Laggy back, I think this would be the place that we'd fight him. But inevitably, we will see. And the latest release as far as our locales are concerned, this is the Frost Islands. To me, it is very reminiscent of the Horfrost Reach from Iceborne, and you know what? Why wouldn't it be? It was one of the most beautiful maps in all of World. I think the developers put a ton of time into that map, and I think that is very telling to how great this map will be. We already know it has a varying amount of environments, just like the flooded forest, so it's looking really, really nice. Again, some spots with water, some spots with land, and some spots in a cave, but even more so, we know that there is a ship on the map, as well as a shrine. The map will feature monsters such as Lagambi, Berioth, Goss Harag, Great Baggy, Kezu, Tigrex, not Tigrex, and I'm sure we'll be getting a few others as well. I personally have always really enjoyed the frost areas and the monsters that come from the frost areas. I'm not sure why, I just think it's a really great change of pace. There wasn't really a frost area in the first Monster Hunter game, and they really featured it in Monster Hunter Freedom too. I really love the look of the frost islands, especially the creepy and almost dead aesthetic that they're going for, and I think it's going to be a really great map. I can't wait to explore it. Now we are starting into a little bit more so of unknown territory, my friends. Here we have the Stronghold. This is an area that is specifically designed to keep the monsters out of Kamora Village. Like I said, we don't know much about it, but we do know that the Rampage is going to take place in the Stronghold, and they do have a lot of artillery weapons for us to use during the fights. We still are not sure whether or not we're going to be fighting multiple different monsters or if it's just going to be these same five every time or if it is at five even. We're, we don't really know a lot. I'll keep you updated once we know. Okie dokie, friends. Those are all of the locales we know of so far in Monster Hunter Rise. Locales meaning places that we fight monsters specifically. But there are definitely going to be a few more. So let's speculate as to what else we could possibly get from Monster Hunter Rise as far as locations. To do this, we really need to look back at the history of the other Monster Hunter games that started from the ground up. What I mean by that is Monster Hunter 1, Monster Hunter Try, and Monster Hunter World. So let's look at their maps and compare and see what we have and maybe we'll get a better idea of the number of maps we'll be getting in Monster Hunter Rise. So in the original Monster Hunter, we got five areas, the Forest Hills, Jungle, Desert, Swamp, and the Volcano. We also got a couple areas for fighting the last bosses, the final bosses, and two different arenas for fighting monsters. In Monster Hunter Try, we got the Deserted Isle, Flooded Forest, Sandy Plains, Tundra, and Volcano. Those were the original five in Monster Hunter Try that we got. If you look at Monster Hunter World, we got the Ancient Forest, Wild Spire Waste, Coral Highlands, Rotten Vale, and Elder's Recess. Those, again, were the first five we got in Monster Hunter World. So, if you want to follow the trends, I would say in Monster Hunter Rise, we should expect five locales. 
we have three already confirmed. If I were to guess two more that we have yet to get, I would say we're likely to get a desert area and we are likely to get a volcano area. Though I would like if they surprised us and gave us an entirely new map that we didn't see coming at all. Kind of for me like the Rotten Vale. It was very much a left field map that I had no idea that we would even get something like that. I want something more along those lines, and maybe even skip out on the volcano area and leave that for DLC. Who knows if that's really going to be the case, but that's what I would think would be the coolest thing to do. So let's keep our fingers crossed, let's hope that we get at least two more locales that we have yet to see. We're definitely going to be getting a couple areas for just random things, one for a boss, we're going to be getting a few arenas I assume as well, and... Who knows, maybe they'll actually surprise us with a locale that we didn't expect at all. That would be really awesome. If not, a volcano area and a desert area would be awesome. Although we do know we are getting at least two arenas, we have the Wyvern Riding Arena, and we're probably be go going to be getting a new arena that we have yet to see. So that plus the final boss area should tally up all of the areas for Monster Hunter Rise. Well friends, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Don't forget to share it with a fellow hunter, one that you're going to be hunting with soon. Maybe you guys are doing the demo together. Don't forget to comment below and let me know exactly who you want to see in the flooded forest. And everyone, I hope you have a damn good one. Alright, we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.